Hello, this is Lita from Online Learning Services. Today I'm going to show you how to use Kaltura Media in your discussions forum. So let me go to Canvas here. Okay, so for my first discussion, I want students to introduce themselves using the Kaltura Media. So I'm going to create a discussion. Let's call it Okay, so to create my own introduction video, I'm going to click on the Kaltura Starburst here. Select Add New and then Express Capture. Okay, so I'm going to click the big red button. So you'll see that it gave me the countdown and now I'm just gonna do a quick introduction. Hello, I'm your instructor for the semester. And then once I'm done, I'm going to click stop. And then if I want to preview the video again, I can click the play button. And if I wanted to record this again, I could click record. But if I'm satisfied with my video, I can select use this. And if I want it, I can adjust the name. So the default setting is video recording and then the date. So I'm going to do professor introduction. And if I want to tag this video, I could as well. You'll notice if you scroll down that it's going to ask you if you want to keep it private or published. Now, when you do the default setting is private, um, that means it is just going to be hosted within the discussion forum. If you select published, it's going to publish it to your course's media gallery. So if I click on this, it's going to pull up all of the courses um, that I've taught and it's gonna ask me to choose a course. But since I just want this to be in the discussion thread, I'm going to leave it as private and then select save. And next I'm going to select save and embed. So then it will put my video in the body of the discussion. And if there's any other settings I want to adjust, I can do that here as well. I can allow liking. So the usual steps when you build a discussion. So I want this to be available from today through the weekend. Done. And now I'm going to hit save and publish. So this is what it would look like with a student. Depending on the length of the video, it could take a little while to process, um, but students would come in and select reply, and then they would follow very similar steps. So they should have the Kaltura option here. If not, they may need to click on the plug icon and it should pull it up in the drop down here. Now, if students are unable to see your video, what they'll need to do is go to My Media and they will have to authorize the Kaltura app in order to view Kaltura videos. So I just wanted to mention that as well. Now, if I use Student View, it's not going to be able to pull up the video. Now with student view, it's not linked to an actual account. It's a, it's a test student account within Canvas. So you'll notice this with Kaltura and Chalk and Wire and some of the other platforms. Um, because it's not linked to an actual account, it doesn't have an authenticated login. So it automatically rejects the viewer. So just wanted to mention that as well. If you do want to make sure that students can view your video, you can reach out to us at Online Learning Services and we'll be happy to help test that for you. Thanks for watching.